Hey everyone, McDowan here. Today we are looking at the first of two arcade machine accessory sets from Hasbro's new Fortnite Victory Royale 6 inch series. I ordered this from Amazon for $11.59. If you'd like to own your own, then I have a link for you in the pinned comment below. Let's take a quick look at this box, that's the front, and here's the right side, there's the back side, and the left side. It seems like the left side here is the only interesting side there is, it actually shows what's inside. The back has nothing, and the right side just shows you what the arcade looks like. So beyond that, I think it's time to show you the barcode. Let's get this arcade out of the box. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your Epic account. It's McDowan. Here's the arcade out of the box, and it doesn't look a whole lot different because we could see most of it. Anyway, this is the Dance Royale arcade, if you will, I guess. You can't actually play the game, you just look at this little nice little picture they put in there, and these joysticks don't move around at all. The sides look like that, have some emotes down here, have some sort of a pattern orange patterned with some stars up there. Well, the reason that the main purpose of this is the accessories. This is an accessory set and it's also supposed to match the six inch figures. Well, if you go down here, there's a little spot you can just kind of pull and pop that thing open. This has some gun racks on this side, we'll set it down. And we've got the bag full of accessories. So we could either put this back this way or we could flip it around and attach it that way. So when we get some of the stuff out, we can hang guns and hang weapons here. So let's make a lot of crackly noise. Rip this piper open. Toss it off to the side. So what we've got here are three accessories. We've got a boogie bomb right there. We have a clinger, which is not soft enough rubber to actually cling to anything. It's kind of weighty. And we have a heavy assault rifle, a heavy assault rifle that looks a little bit bent here. It's it's that not soft rubber, but it's kind of a, a medium rubber. You can bend this thing around and it can definitely get bent. So it's a little bent. We'll need to figure out how to straighten that out. But yeah, this actually looks like a pretty nice gun. So these things should just set there to some degree. This kind of back heavy for it to sit just like that. So I guess do that or put it right through the trigger hole there. This isn't going to fit there at all. And let's see, will the boogie bomb hang? Eh, not really. If I get Ripley's, nope, that won't fit. Get the uh, shotgun there. So that's the gist of this. <laughs> That's the, the gist of these uh, this thing here, is we get this arcade, and let's actually grab Ripley and put him next to it. So that's the size of the arcade next to the nearly 7-inch Ripley. It's actually 6 and 3 fourths. So the idea is that you can get your figures, and you can get them to stand here and kind of bonk their head while they're playing a game. Yeah, don't don't disrupt Ripley while he's playing Dance Royale. He'll be in a bad mood all day. So, and then he can hold these weapons. Let's see how well he holds a gun like this. So, yeah, pretty good. He could actually uh Oh, not quite. Put his hat back on here. So, let's see. Not quite. Get it to the other hand. You'd have to bend that around. So, but that's what he looks like awkwardly holding the heavy uh, sniper rifle. I think I said assault rifle earlier. Heavy sniper rifle. I corrected myself. And then he could hang on to a boogie bomb. That stretches out just a little bit so he can uh, hold on to that thing just like so. So that's what we've got here is an arcade. So you know, let me talk a, little, uh, a few seconds here or a minute about this arcade. This is an interesting idea. And the arcade is definitely neat to stand a figure next to. As you can see, I think it's pretty neat. But I don't know, I don't think we need, I don't need more than the two, this one and then the other one that they're releasing. 
it only comes with a few accessories these get these off to the side but these three accessories and for the price that I paid almost $12 I, I don't know if it's supposed to be 10 11 or 12 but I paid almost $12 I don't know if that's worth it I don't need a pile of these five six or seven of these laying around just to pose my figures with and take pictures if you're gonna do that then it might be worth it to have five or six of them I don't know so I would rather that maybe we get these accessories packed in with the figure maybe one each and you can kind of spread that around a little bit or if they really want to do some sort of accessory packs then maybe do like I don't know 10 weapons like 10 guns or a whole pile of stuff it, with a, a package that doesn't cost as much. I mean, this is really cool and all. Let me take off the back, but you, know, you can, can fill this up pretty quick. It's going to take a lot of accessories to fill this thing up. So, I don't know, something with maybe a less expensive packaging, but with a bunch more accessories, I would be more in for that for. But uh, it's an interesting idea, as I said. Now it's your turn. What do you think about this arcade set? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below because I'm kind of curious what you all think about this as well. But, and before you go, I said but, but, and before you go, or but before you go, whichever, if you haven't already, check out my review of this guy right here, Ripley, and it's in the lower left-hand corner. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere if you found it informative and helpful because it really does help the channel to grow to share it. I will see you in the next video.